Two weeks ago, I launched a new app on the App Store, Skyscraper Grow Taller, where your potential height will be calculated from your current situation, and you'll be provided an entire daily routine of exercises, diet, supplements, and lifestyle changes to grow taller. But many people are still skeptical if height growth is really possible after you finish puberty and your growth plates are fully closed. That's why I created this video, where I fully explain to you why height growth is more than possible after puberty and growth plate closure with the use of hard scientific evidence. So sit back and enjoy, because here's the full story. It was back at the beginning of 20. 22, I first started paying serious attention to the topic of height growth and its mechanisms when I first came across a few anecdotes of people growing taller in their 30s, 40s, or even 50s. People that have been watching my videos regularly might have known about John Wood and his bone strengthening program, where he trained in such a specific way that he grew the bones of the skeleton. After doing regular DEXA scans, he found out that his skeleton became much, much thicker. But after measuring his height, he also found he had grown a whole inch in height by training his skeleton. He was in his 30s. This is one of the many stories that inspired me. They lied about fluoride drinking water being okay. They've lied about meat causing heart disease. They've lied about seed oils being good for you. After reading all about people that did manage to grow at later ages, my immediate thought was, is this also something they've lied about? This idea grew even more because at the current time, I was researching a lot on the development of the facial bones, how you can change the shape and the size of the bones in the skull by exposing it to mewing and chewing. I mean, if bones in the face can grow, why wouldn't it be possible with other bones as well? People will tell you that the reason you stop growing after puberty is because the growth plates have fully closed and bone doesn't grow longer with closed growth Baits, but that's false, and I've got the science to prove it. Let's look at a study on the growth of fingers during the aging process. In this American study from 1992, the researchers found that after the age of 21, an age where growth plates have fully fused or closed down, the length of the finger continues to increase in size as people get older, even as far back as in their 50s. This increase in finger size was also much higher in males that worked manual labor. This is a direct argument that Wolf's Law does lengthen bone as well. This law will be fully explained later on in the video. Although this study was conducted on the fingers, the results were minimal, it still opens up the discussion to whether bone really stops growing in length after the growth plates have closed, so it clearly doesn't stop. Let's double down on the previous point with another, even more ridiculous study, which shows that bone can lengthen a ton after growth plate closure. This American study from 1961 showed that the growth of hand length after the growth plates have closed is not tiny at all, with huge increases in size and length of the bone, even four years after the growth plates in the hands were fully closed. That's not only an insane increase in length, but it again proves that bone growth does happen after the growth plates are closed. But how? The answer is very simple, Wolf's Law. But to understand the process of bone lengthening after growth plate closure, you need to become aware that bone is living tissue, which always adapts. Wolf's Law is the law which states that healthy bone adapts to the loads it's placed upon. Now, this shouldn't be something which surprises you. We've known for quite some time that the dominant arms of tennis players and arm wrestlers are significantly bigger than their other arm. Now, the question that remains is, does bone also adapt by growing in length and instead of just density and thickness? Yes, it does. At least according to this American study published in 1980, which states, and I quote, the data of Buskirk, et al, and Privs seems to demonstrate that persistent physical activity stimulates bone growth and length. This means Wolf's Law also applies to growing longer bones. And the beautiful thing is, is that this law doesn't care if your growth plates are closed or not. Bone keeps remodeling at any age, before, during, and especially after puberty. If you're still skeptical of all of this and doubt the legitimacy of Wolf's Law, and if it truly makes your bones lengthen, then just take a look at this video. In the background, you see world-famous arm wrestler Devin Larat around 40 plus years old at the moment, showing his dominant arm being significantly longer after concentrating most of his arm wrestling training on that very arm for two years. Two years isn't even that long, but the results are very noticeable. Again, this was the result of training at like 47 years old, an age where the growth plates are definitely closed, but still, the bone became much, much visibly longer. Bones do lengthen after puberty. The only question that really remains now is, is it possible the bones can lengthen so significantly after puberty you can actually gain more height and grow taller besides just gaining a bit of length in fingers, hands, or forearms? The answer is yes. This has been completely proven by science. This has been studied, and the results will shock you in an immensely positive way. This doesn't change your entire view on height growth after puberty. I don't know what will. This Polish study from 1983 tracked 221 different men and found that 54% of the men grew at least one centimeter after the age of 19, with the average growth being more than an inch. This is huge, especially when you consider 80 to 90% of 19-year-olds have all of their growth plates fully fused, with the exception of the collarbones. This must have meant that they grew in height with closed growth plates, unless there was one in a million statistical error. Height growth with closed growth plates doesn't only seem scientifically possible now, it seems to be the norm. So now that I have finally proven to you that height growth after puberty is more than just possible, how do you actually begin to put this theoretical possibility into an actionable plan? Where do you start to grow taller? By getting all the right variables of the formula in check, this obviously means 
eat the right foods to get the right nutrients in, change your lifestyle in such a way that the body has no option but to grow, use the correct exercises that lengthen bone and make you taller. If you want the more specific answer and know what things to include in your life, I recommend you to go to the app store right now and download the new app I launched, the Skyscraper Grow Taller app. I'll also put a link in the description so it'll be easier to find. People in their 20s, 30s, or even 40s have grown significantly from my advice, and boys in puberty have managed to trigger massive growth spurts in themselves, all because they applied the group knowledge I provided. Make sure you download the app. I hope this video was able to change your stance on the illegitimacy of height growth after puberty, because I certainly put some effort into this video. If you enjoyed watching, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment your questions on what the next topic should be about. See you guys next time.